What's your name? <laughs> I've never been interviewed before. It's like, you know, something new for me. Oh, oh okay. Hey, girl, I heard you're single. Yeah, hey, you know that's me, yo. And I'm gonna hit the phone. Yeah, baby, it's on. Hey, girl, I heard you're single. Yeah, hey, you know that's me, yo. And I'm gonna cool. hit the phone. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Miles Johnson and I am a student that goes to UMBC. If I can give a brief context, I record this during Valentine's Day, aka the conference finals of cuffing season. And I'm out here and making a quick video for you guys. I decided to ask the good people at UMBC a simple question. Would you rather have your dream partner or your dream job? I'm gonna let you guys decide on your own real quick with this video. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. No, I said everyone want a dream job or a dream girl. Fuck! <laughs> Hold on. Can I think about this? I mean, that's easy. I would say dream partner for sure. That's easy. Dream job. Dream job. <laughs> I'm a sucker for love, so dream girl. But well, honestly, I'm gonna have to go with the paper for real. Dream job. Dream girl? I'm gonna go with dream. Dream girl. Dream girl? Definitely dream girl. Definitely a dream job. I just, you know, love is really important to me. And if I could find somebody that I feel like just gets me and I can just be myself with, then like the rest of it doesn't really matter. You know? Let's be real. First of all, nobody's perfect. Even if there was somebody perfect, there's gonna be flaws. Because it's like. A dream job won't disappoint me. I know it's always gonna be there. I know it's not gonna do nothing crazy. It's gonna make me happy. It's gonna be constant. So yeah, a dream job. What can a dream companion do for me? I don't know. It, just connecting with someone is just like an unreal experience, you know? So when you find that right person, that's, that's magic. Um, if you find someone that you click with like that and it's your dream come true, then I guess I think that's more valuable to me. The whole goal of life is like revolves around family. Mm -hmm. okay, so I mean, having an important job is really just a means to an end. Like it's a means to like provide for my family, but the family is always there. So you're saying if I choose the dream girl, I have to settle for a mediocre job? And I'm definitely rather have a dream job. I can, I can live comfortably on my family street, those who I want to help out the street, nothing like that. Money can't buy happiness. Like, you get a dream job, but like, you can be happy doing what you do, but like, at the end of the day, like, is that really gonna make you happy? Well, honestly, I'm gonna have to go with the paper for real. I have to be happy with myself before I can be happy with anyone else. Alright, then I'll change my answer. Job. That's not something you can train, because you can end up in a lot of different places and doing work that you're not happy with. Because if you really look about it, you spend most of your time working. And if I'm not happy there, what am I gonna do? Come back home and I'm gonna be angry, I'm gonna be like... I'm not gonna be fulfilled with myself and I'm not gonna be as loving or as kind to the person I'm with. Your job is average, you're like, oh, I hate my job. When you go home, you find that peace within your dream girl. You have something to go home to, like, when you're stressed out, you feel me? When you need that peace, you, you can go home to that. Like, even if. I can't say dream job within me. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> dream, dream man. Um, because if you have a dream job, right? Mm -hmm and you're just working all the time, and you're working until the day you die, what are you living for? I can adopt kids, enjoy my life, have fun, and not have to worry about oh, the variables. But well, honestly, I'm gonna have to go with the paper for real because- yeah. Because if I'm taking an average job, it's, it's, I mean, if it's not gonna, I wanna be fulfilled, but after work, you come home. Okay. So I wanna come home to home. I don't want to have an average partner and come home and be like, I had a great day at work and now I had to sleep with this motherfucker that I, I got to sleep with this person that I don't even like. Yeah, I just don't want to keep it PG out here. Okay. Jobs and fit, find jobs that fit me as I change the person because they're just average rather than just like have an average person to come home to. That just sounds so awful. Are we an average person with a dream job? Yeah. I'm only an average person. 
Okay. I find a job where I'm just like, I like it, but it's not everything for me. But if I only found like a person that's just like, eh, then it's like, what am I doing with my life, you know? The job is to be like a CEO company, like traveling all around the world and shit. And like, I want to start my own company and then I'll be like a CEO or something. To be a CEO. Then, you know, if you really want something that you dream of every night and you don't get it, then you just kind of are left feeling like, well, did you waste your life, you know? So I feel like that's my reason for that. So, like, are you gonna have a job or are you gonna have, like, you don't want to be lonely, basically. I'm thinking about when I get old, I want to have someone there for me. So, a job is not always gonna be there. Having a perfect person is not always gonna make somebody better. It's probably gonna stagnate them or make them think that, you know, Oh, I have to do whatever I need to do to make, you know, them happy, right? Mm -hmm. So you're proud of. I wouldn't just want to have my dream job, okay, I'm just happy with work. And then when I get home, who am I gonna tell my amazing day to? Amazing <laughs> you know day. what I'm saying? Like it's just I would rather just have that one person. You know what I'm <laughs> okay. Yeah, but there we are. Hey guys, this is the credits real quick. I'm out here just giving a shout out. I appreciate everybody that was in the video, uh, all the interviewers. I give a special shout out to Lair. Uh, he's a fellow YouTuber and his link is in the description. He also records things that you and me see. And also want to give a shout out to uh, Julian uh, for the music for the intro and the outro. Got some dope music and I appreciate you letting me use it. So, yeah. No girl that I keep it real won't be no faking over here. Get it going right away won't be some wasted over here. If I ever see shawty, no I gotta go and stop her. Say you got a minute, baby, cause I'm trying to hide. I said, hey girl, you got a minute. Hey girl, I gotta spit it. Hey girl, I gotta get it. Time girl, I gotta spend it. All on you, yeah. All on you, yeah. All on.